Welcome to ITT Corporation's diaphragm installation video for biotech valves. First, identify if the application uses a two-piece PTFE diaphragm or a one-piece elastomer diaphragm. The two-piece diaphragm consists of a PTFE diaphragm and an elastomer backing cushion. This two-piece PTFE diaphragm and one-piece elastomer diaphragm thread directly to the compressor. For this demonstration, we will be utilizing a two-piece PTFE diaphragm. During this installation video, it is important to look out for this notice symbol. This symbol is to indicate an important step that must be closely followed for proper installation. Also, pay attention for this symbol. This symbol indicates a special engineer tip that may make installing your diaphragm a little easier. Let's begin. First, when installing a new two-piece PTFE diaphragm, you should replace both the diaphragm and backing cushion. Invert the diaphragm and place the backing cushion over the boss of the diaphragm. While securely holding the diaphragm and backing cushion, thread the top works onto the diaphragm. Continue rotating the top works slowly until heavy resistance is achieved and additional force does not significantly rotate the diaphragm into the compressor. This step is crucial in the installation of your diaphragm. Applying too much force and securing a fit that is too tight will result in damage to your diaphragm. Having the diaphragm too loose will result in the valve not having a proper seal when closed. This is considered point loading. Therefore, to remedy this situation, it is suggested that you rotate the diaphragm relatively slowly to ensure the proper installation. Once you have achieved a hard stop or resistance, rotate the diaphragm counterclockwise or back off the diaphragm just enough that the bolt holes line up. If necessary, back off the diaphragm no more than one half turn to line up the bolt holes. Finally, reinvert the PTFE diaphragm by pushing down on the sides. At this point, you may make any minor adjustments necessary to properly line up the bolt holes. Congratulations! You have successfully installed a PTFE diaphragm on a biotech valve. For further reference, refer to your current ITT Biotech Maintenance Manual. Thank you for watching.